Hey boys, uh, for some days coming post, um, forgot to do a video of unboxing it like, so I got a bit, a bit too giddy about it. <laughs> Been waiting for these coming. Only, well, fast delivery to be fair, considering what's happening in the world at the minute. Uh, only took about two days to come. Ordered it late Wednesday afternoon, and uh, they've just arrived now. So there's a front catty shack from Wayne Martin. Uh, all you fellow shotgun shooters will know who Wayne Martin is. Really skilled uh, shooter. He was also a really skilled catty shooter and all. Um, so what I ordered was the Voochin game bag. So put your catties and your, all your game and stuff in. Your, your bags for your meat and your, your knife and what, what not, whatever you take on your mooch. And middle... I think it says on the website, it's a large compartment. Hold on, two seconds. I think it says it's enough to hold three large pheasants on the inside. But once it's fully spread out, well, that's quite a big bag there. It's all padded and that. Um, Velcro patch, loads of compartments on the outside, loads of webbing for extra little bits to be attached. Really thick bag that, really well made. I'm impressed with that. Um, <laughs> canvas bag. Uh, but like I said, really thick. It'll last a long time that if you take care of stuff. Um, but yeah, really impressed with that. And I've also ordered, I was looking forward to this coming. Um, I've seen a lot of reviews of people having it, and obviously I looked into it and couldn't help myself. A uh, little Catashack sticker here. So that'll be going on my storage box for my catapults. Uh, but yeah, this is the Goblet Evo by Wayne Martin at the Catty Shack. It's made from 304 stainless steel, 10 mil thick, 95 uh, mil fork width, with I think it wore 25 mil tips. Don't quote me on that because. I'm not too sure, can't remember to be fair. But sloped tips, so uh, it allows for straight wrist shooting. A bit more comfortable shoot. Um, so obviously, normal shooting frames with straight tips, you'd cocky wrist back like that. But this, it allows for a more comfortable shoot where you can straighten your wrist out. And uh, it just allows it to be more comfortable for you. Uh, chamfered for a brace grip on the uh, sides of the frame I don't know if you can see that well, that says brace grip so you wrap your top finger around and you brace with your thumb that's what brace grip for you the old uh, style goblet did have sloped grooves as well um, that went with, went with um, tips but it seems to have changed that um, really nice checkered grip you can really feel that so that'll obviously aid in grip if it's uh, if your hands get a bit sweaty or if it's chucking it down and you're getting a bit wet like. Um, but yeah, like I says, some weight to that, but not enough weight to where it's uncomfortable to hold. It's just so obviously, if you're using heavier bands, where you're shooting heavier, heavier ammo, uh, it absorbs recoil a bit for you. So you're not... You, your frame ain't kicking out like that, it'll absorb quite a bit of recoil for you, some good, good weight to that frame there. Uh, but yeah, just thought I'd do a quick video just to show you what's just come. Really impressed with them to be fair Wayne mate, thank you. Um, I will be putting a few clips at the end of this video with me just having a little shoot with this and then I'll get a couple of clips of uh, me getting going out and getting some pigeons and rabbits and stuff. Because I have got another video coming up in the next couple of days where I've been on to my permission and uh, sorted out some pigeons and stuff for him. So, um, I'll uh, put that up when it comes up. But on my future moochers, I'll be taking this one in. Plenty of room to put some stuff in. But yeah, like I said, I was really impressed with them. Uh, I'll put some clips at the end. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and uh, I'll get back to you. Cheers.